You know, with this story, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm going to be talking about today, it just blows my mind that anybody still at this point is going to Planet Fitness. With everything that's taken place before this as well, especially women, it's insane. But this story today, boy, where do you even begin? What do you even say about it? Once again, it involves a male who apparently identifies as a woman, and we'll get into that later on in the video. But because of that, he walked into a women's locker room and ended up getting arrested for indecent exposure. What? And if you call this out, well, how dare you do such a thing, right? You are one of the many, many buzzwords floating around in the universe right now. You're not allowed to call this out. What leftist liberals would rather you look in the other direction. That's how insane things are right now. But remember, men are allowed to walk into the women's locker room within Planet Fitness because of their woke policies. Let's remind ourselves of how truly stunning and brave they are. This was their response to Patricia Silva, who got her membership revoked a few weeks ago after she took a picture of a male in the women's locker room, which was the catalyst for Planet Fitness getting exposed to this level. As the home of the judgment-free zone, Planet Fitness is committed to creating an inclusive environment, the spokesperson wrote via email. Our gender identity non-discrimination policy states that members and guests may use the gym facilities that best align with their sincere self-reported gender identity. The member who posted on social media, Patricia Silver, violated our mobile device policy that prohibits taking photos of individuals in the locker room, which resulted in their membership being terminated. Yeah, so essentially, Essentially, this policy allows guys out there who might wake up one day and decide to identify as a woman to walk into the women's locker room at Planet Fitness because ultimately the individual truth is the truth and well, you're not allowed to question that really, are you? And when you have woke policies like this, of course, naturally, people are going to take advantage of them, which leads us to this story once again where a male was arrested after entering the women's locker room. 911 audio captures women at Planet Fitness reporting completely naked biological male in women's locker room. The naked Planet Fitness member identified as transgender while in the women's locker room, the 911 caller stated. A shocked woman reported a naked biological man in a women's locker room at a North Carolina Planet Fitness 911 audio revealed. In the 911 call audio obtained by Fox News from the Gaston County Police, an unidentified woman called local police after 38 year old Christopher Miller allegedly barged into the women's locker room at the popular chain. How it's still popular again I'll never know. The woman said that Miller stripped completely naked inside the locker room. This is not an emergency it's just me and my friend were all you know not minors but we were just flashed by a man in the bathroom. The caller is heard telling the 911 operator and my parents told me to call to report it. The woman is heard saying that Miller was still in the locker room at the time of her call. Yeah he's still in the bathroom it's a man but he says he identifies as a woman and he won't leave the restroom, the caller is heard saying. He's just walking around showing us his, but he won't leave, she added. Yeah, absolute insanity. Then again, you didn't need me to say that. You're all probably thinking that one right now, but welcome to our lovely liberal society anyway, where dudes can walk into women's locker rooms just because in that moment they might identify as a woman and as a result, women's safety is at risk. Remember when woke activists said this would never happen? You know, you've got to let people be who they want to be. And if a guy wants to go into a women's locker room, changing room, safe space, then he's allowed to. No negative consequences would come from this. The woke agenda trumps everything. Now, this is where the story gets a little bit more confusing and even more insane because whilst in the beginning of that article, it didn't state there were any young girls involved within this story, uh, later on, it actually states he allegedly exposed himself to a 17-year-old girl and asked her to rub lotion on his body. Miller allegedly barged into the women's locker room and stripped down completely naked in front of a 17-year-old girl, according to WSOC-TV. The local news outlet said that the suspect allegedly asked the teen to rub lotion and shower together. Look, I use this video within my content uh, quite a bit now, but I've never meant it as much as I do now. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. I don't have any words for this. It's disgraceful. And at the end of the day, you know, a woman could have been assaulted. And again, if the article is correct, a 17 year old girl could have been assaulted. We are at this point because woke leftists, woke liberals, first and foremost, don't care about this safety issue. They just care about pushing this agenda of allowing men into women's locker rooms, all they care about is turning the world upside down and reaffirming mentally ill people. And as a result, you get situations like this. How they can still sit there and agree with allowing men into women's locker rooms, changing rooms, safe spaces, 
it's really beyond me. But then again, it tells you all you need to know about these people. Now, when I first read about this story, I did suspect that they weren't actually trans. They were just using that as an excuse, as a cover up to go into the women's locker room. Because again, their policy just allows men to go in there. You're not really allowed to question these things. And the Daily Mail have actually reported he did allegedly take advantage of these policies. Naked man took advantage of Planet Fitness transgender locker room policy to parade his Australia and ladies locker room and ask women to shower with him, then rub lotion on his back. Miller claimed to be a woman in order to enter the female facilities, but there is no indication that he identified as a transgender woman prior to the incident, and his Planet Fitness membership lists him as a male. He also has a beard. I mean, let's be real here, looks don't even matter with this issue anyway. You can have a Gandalf the grey beard and still sit there and say, oh, I'm a woman and everybody else is still supposed to agree. Yep. That is a woman. The gym's policy allows members to use whichever bathroom and locker room that aligns with the gender they identify as part of the no judgment motto. The rule that has sparked a wave of backlash against the gym and has prompted customers to threaten the establishment with boycotts and a $400 million loss in value after multiple incidents in which the transgender policy has been abused. Shouldn't be one in the first place. Gym goers are concerned about the policy and believe Miller abused the policy as a way to act inappropriately towards female customers. WSOC TV reports. Reported. Allegations claim that Miller got completely naked in the locker room and even asked a woman to rub lotion on him and shower together, which again allegedly was a 17 year old girl. A worried woman who was shocked to see a fully naked Miller in the locker room called 911 because she was so disturbed. Betty Bryce, a Planet Fitness customer, is upset that Miller claimed to identify as a woman to stay in the women's locker room. I think a woman should be able to go into a woman's bathroom without a man coming in saying he's transgender, Bryce said. Clark Simon, however, a transgender advocate says that the policy creates a sense of safety, security, and affirmation for trans gym goers. He says that it is no excuse for someone that isn't transgender to violate that space and that Planet Fitness must control that. Well, how can you say somebody isn't transgender? Because the woke mob for so long now have told everybody that if somebody claims to be the opposite gender, everybody must reaffirm that. Yeah, and this is the position we're in now. And again, when you have policies like this, people who are trans or who are not trans will take advantage of this. This policy shouldn't exist in the first place. Just because in Clark Simon's words and other people will also agree with it, you know, these policies create a sense of safety, security and affirmation for trans gym goers. I don't care. And I don't think many other people care either because these policies affect the large majority women are feeling uncomfortable and because of it there is a safety issue but what is it going to take for them to change their policies they're going through a lot of backlash right now people are cancelling their memberships left right and center is it going to have to take a woman getting badly hurt for them to do so even then i don't think they would that's just how deeply ingrained woke culture is within society it is now considered more important than any negative consequences. You know what? There needs to be a law in place for every company, every organization out there when it comes to locker rooms, uh, toilets, bathrooms, safe spaces, whatever, that men can only go into men's uh, private spaces and women can only go into women's private spaces. I don't care how somebody identifies because we're talking about people's safety here. But what are your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, on this story? What are your thoughts on everything I've discussed? I'd like to know if you have enjoyed Make sure to leave a like rating if you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video, comment on this video, share this video, but until next time, it has been your boy JD, have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out, peace.